Prince Harry's questionable podcast advertisement for interviewing Putin and Donald Trump. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lucrative deal with Spotify was cancelled last week after the Sussexes released just one podcast series. It was reported that Prince Harry wanted to interview Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump about their upbringing on a Spotify podcast. The Duke of Sussex reportedly shocked producers with the controversial idea of asking them about their childhood and how they became the men they are today. The revelations come after Harry and his wife Meghan Markle's deal with the streaming giant was scrapped after just one podcast series from the Duchess of Sussex. Bloomberg reported that Harry spoke with multiple producers and production houses about podcast ideas, but mostly stuck to his own idea of interviewing the characters. The Duke wanted to speak to Russian President Vladimir Putin, former U.S. President Donald Trump, as well as media mogul Mark Zuckerberg. He also reportedly hoped to talk to Pope Francis about religion. The pitch was said to incredibly skeptical people at best because most of the men rarely gave interviews or spoke about their upbringing. After their departure from the royal family in March 2020, Harry and Meghan signed a lucrative deal with Spotify, but after just one season of Meghan's Archetypes podcast, the deal fell through. In a statement shared with Spotify, Archwell told the couple, Spotify and Archwell Audio have mutually agreed to separate, and we are proud of the series we made together. It wasn't all amicable, however, as just a day later Bill Simmons called the couple the head of innovation and podcast monetization at Spotify. Here's the podcast we should have done with them, said the chief in a hate speech. I gotta have a drink one night and tell the story of the Zoom I did with Harry to try and help him with an idea podcast. It's one of my best stories. The couple filed for exclusive rights to the original models, but the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office rejected their claims on the grounds of potential confusion, with an existing trademark. Harry and Meghan have sought to claim archetype rights in areas such as downloadable audio recordings and podcasts, and in anything that falls into the category of the cultural treatment of women and female facing stereotypes. But the application was denied due to a trademark by Arizonanian Archetypes LLC. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.